the way the cosmic structures take birth, evolve, and decay are central in understanding the nature of the universe. In the video, Birth of Cosmic Structures, I have talked about the universal mechanism by which the cosmic bodies take their births in different scales. Similarly, all cosmic structures, after being born, follow a destined path of evolution, which is universal for all. The mechanism involves a prescribed manner, by which the fractal knot, generated at birth, undergoes tightening from a loose state, to a more compact knot. When the knot is loose, the structures looks like a barred spiral form. More it tightens, it passes through a spiral morphology, and ends up into elliptical, or round object, after reaching a critical state of tightening. In this final configuration, the spiral arms woven together, turn into toroidal rings around the central core. The main mechanism lies in the destined pattern, by which the matter pours out of the center, and the ejected matter returns towards the center. The main outpouring occurs along the bar axis of the core, lying in opposite directions from the center. The ejections also occur from the side. In the belly region, where the bar is wider, two wide mouths develop on opposite sides of the belly. The daughter knot, embedded inside the mother knot, feeds back to the mother pattern through these mouths on the side. In the early phase of evolution, the ejections from the belly region are less pronounced than the ejections from the bar axis. With evolution of the knot, the ejections from the belly increase and the knitting pattern of the ejections and incoming flows become more clearly revealed as a hierarchically embedded design. In the most evolved structures, like the massive elliptical galaxy, like M87, the tighter knitting causes the arms to turn into toroidal shapes. After reaching the spherical shape, the structure may start disintegrating. As the toroidal rings become more and more unstable, they start breaking into smaller structures. In the case of the evolved elliptical galaxies, the rings may fragment into many large globular clusters, as one sees in the case of the M87 galaxy, which lies at the heart of the Virgo cluster of galaxies. While the rings may disintegrate, by breaking into clusters of stars, the core also undergoes disruption. The disruption occurs by the ejections of dwarf structures, along the direction of the bar, from where the core has evolved into spherical shape. While the system falls apart by ejecting dwarf structures from the core and formation of clusters along the ring arms, plasma is thrown out into space in the form of jets, along the main ejection mouths, the motions of the plasma generate the radio jets, which one observes from many evolved galaxies. Similar to the example of the galaxies, the clusters of galaxies also evolve by following the path prescribed by the tightening of the universal fractal knot structure. In evolved clusters of galaxies, one should observe similar ejections of dwarf galaxy clusters from the center along the bar axis, as it is seen in the X-ray image of Coma cluster, for example. One should also observe radio jets from the center of galaxy clusters, similar to what is seen in elliptical galaxies. The evolution of star clusters also follows the same mechanism of ejections from the core and fragmentation along the arms, as they pass through the old age, 